Hey everybody, Derek here from Addictive Tips, and in this video I'm going to show you how to back up your Grub bootloader, at least the configuration files, for safekeeping in just in case of emergencies. So in my article, if we go to my post here, you can see I talk about how to back up the Grub MBR. So if you use a BIOS bootloader instead of the UEFI secure boot method, you'll be able to back up the entire configuration of your master boot record and save it to a safe place. And this is a good idea to do if you've installed Windows alongside it and it erased it. But if you use Secure Boot or UEFI, if you want a full complete backup, you can use Clonezilla, and I link to that in the post. But just for backing up configuration files, such as the way you have your custom grub set up, or even just the custom entries and stuff like that, you can do this, and that's what we're gonna go over today. So to start off, open up a terminal. And in that terminal, you can go and create a new folder and this folder is where it will house all of our grub backups. So you can copy the grub configuration file right in there. And uh, you can also copy the grub D entries. Now I should say before we do this, the grub D folder has a specific set of, uh, you know, a specific set of permissions. So you may need to compress this into a file like a zip or a tar GZ before you copy to a flash drive because that folder has a specific set of permissions it's going to complain when you move it around so just keep that in mind that you will probably have to compress it but uh, use the sudo cp command here and this will copy all of our custom entries so if you have like a detected operating system or just anything you've added to the grub bootloader manually anything that you want to keep safe in that area and uh, once that's done, we can go and look at our backups. And as we can see, we've got the grub, the grub file here, grub timeout and all of that stuff. And then we can go into the grub D folder. And we can see all of our entries and stuff here is, where, is there as well. So that is how you back up the files. I know that this isn't like a super complicated process where you save exactly how your grub bootloader is, is on installed on your operating system, but this is just how to back up the configuration files and stuff. If you really need to make your grub bootloader exactly the, the way it is now on your system to restore it later, I highly recommend checking out Clonezilla. But again, if you just want to back up your grub, uh, you know, your grub configuration file, you know, the the default grub and then maybe the stuff in the grub D folder or at your master boot record. This is what you got to do. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, be sure to check the link in the description and I will see you in the next video. <laughs>